On behalf of Billy and Lindsay, I would like to begin by welcoming and thanking each of you for being part of this special day. This day is truly a celebration of family, a new family that is being created here and, and embraced with Lindsay and Bill. There's certainly something uniquely touching about being invited to officiate the wedding of close friends. This seems all the more an honor for several reasons for me this evening. One is I have the distinct pleasure and honor of knowing Bill from his young adulthood through till today, and having the distinct pleasure of, of coming to uh, know Lindsay in the last several years through Bill. Billy and I have walked life together in some trying times. It is certainly in those trials that we often find ourselves more bound to one another. I'm sure for those of you who have known Billy for many years, family and friend alike, you have a very similar experience. Someone of wisdom whose advice you seek because you are certain it will come with great clarity, often unique and complete perspective, and most importantly, from a place of love and support. Prior to COVID and in true uh, deliberate and thoughtful Billy fashion, he invited us to meet at a pub in Morse Plains, and it was a trivia night. Of course, you need to have the reaches of your memory, obscure and diverse details of, of uh, history and sports and science, social movements and the like, and I had no doubt that Billy was going to be a treasure trove of this sort of uh, needless, perhaps, information, but important. <laughs> Little did I know, of course, at the time, that Lindsay would be a wealth of so much that evening as well. Besides her vast knowledge of all things techie and science, fashion and cultural topics, film and music, and so much more, I also started to come to know a very funny and generous woman who made Billy smile and laugh. In the years that have followed since, from dating to home purchasing, to several opportunities of hanging out and catching up, including the intense investment in the Game of Thrones series, <laughs> I have come not only to see the wonderful spirit that is Lindsay, but also the great love that is developed between Billy and Lindsay. Love you too. You look great. Suit looks suit, good. This is the uh, this, Macy suit. This is the Macy yeah, suit. Yeah, Macy looks suit. Looks good. Aww. Dear Lindsay, you're the best thing that has ever come into my life. I never told you the story. But when we first started dating, I was supposed to move into Jersey City with my friend Johnny. As the day approached where we were supposed to look at apartments, I was racking my brain with how I was gonna make our relationship work while living in Jersey City. I remember calling my mom and coming to the conclusion that both dating you and living in Jersey City just wouldn't work. So I had to make a decision and I decided to stay in Morristown with you. That was the best decision of my life. Before we met, I didn't think it was possible to love anyone the way I love you now. And I didn't have a lot of faith that anyone would love me that much in return. But I knew immediately that there was something special about you. We clicked so quickly, <laughs> singing together in the car on the way home from a Yankees game, meeting each other's friends and family after only a couple of days slash weeks of dating, it still blows me away how seamlessly our lives blended together. You make my life better in every way. You're kind and thoughtful. You have patience and think of others first. You're selfless in so many ways and want to make the world a better place. When I see you, I get a burst of energy and a drive to be a better person. I feel exactly the way I expect to with someone that I'm going to marry. I promise to always love you, to work through any challenges we face by your side. I'll always treat you well and as an equal. I always put my best foot forward to give us a better life. I love you more than anything and I can't wait to marry you. Love you. With you, there are no bad days. Somehow you find a way to make me smile, even when I'm at my lowest. You're kind, supportive, generous, and I can't believe how lucky I am just to know you. To marry a man like you, with such a big heart, strong mind, and character, is beyond anything I could have dreamed.
Billy and Lindsay, do you promise to share your lives together? To help each other to develop your hearts and minds? Cultivate compassions, generosity, ethics and patience, joy and wisdom, as long as you both show it? Do you promise to be honest and faithful, forgiving and kind with both yourselves and with each other through the best and the worst of what life may bring? And do you pledge to persevere and enrich your affection for each other, to honor and care for each other throughout your lives, to take that love that you have for one another as an example and extend this love outwardly to all? Lindsay and Billy, you have expressed your heartfelt intentions and your commitments to each other. May these commitments always help to serve as your rock and foundation as you venture through life together, lovingly, laughingly, and with a sincere commitment. As we celebrate for the very first time as husband and wife, Lindsay and Billy Carapezzi. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>